I'm going to walk you through how to use the PL calculator as a covered call simulation. So let's start with a stock. We're going to create the strategy and we're going to add stock to our position. And for this example, we're going to assume that we're going to sell the 45 day to expiration out of the money 200 strike call. Right now the 200 strike call is trading about $6.15. We're going to add that to the position. There we go. Now, for this example, let's just we're going to use whole numbers. So we're going to keep the PL nice and clean. We're not going to uh, use fractional numbers. So we're going to assume that the stock is trading 180. We're also going to assume that we paid 180 for the stock. And to keep things nice and clean, let's just say instead of selling this call for $6.15, we sold it for $6. There you go. So there is our covered call position. You can see the graph of the covered call position. This dotted line is showing you the covered call position at expiration. So we are long stock from 180. We are short the 200 level call that expires in 45 days for $6. You have all the corresponding Greeks of the position. This position has a net delta of close to 63 deltas. You're short a little gamma. You have positive theta and negative vega. So to calculate the P&L, the break even, the return on investment, what we're gonna do is we're going to fast forward to expiration. And why are we doing this? Because at expiration, there's no time value left in the option. Okay, it's a very clean way to look at the PL of the position. So let's just assume that at expiration, the stock closes right at 180. Okay, we, know we didn't make money on our stock, we didn't lose money on our stock, but our 200 level call would expire worthless. Then we would be sitting on a profit of $600. Okay, our break even would be 174 and how did we get that well we bought the stock for 180 that call expired worthless we took in six dollars for that call that lowers our cost basis from 180 down to 174 in other words 180 minus the premium six dollars that gets us to 174 below 174 we would suffer losses one for one on our long stock position and on the upside, you can see our gains are capped at the short strike, the 200 level short strike. At 200, our 200 level call expires worthless and we would make $20 on our stock for a total P&L of 26 points or $2,600. If the stock goes higher up to 220, okay, we're still gonna make our $2,600 we're just going to forego go any gains between 200 and 220 in this case, or above 200. So let's take a look and figure out how do we come up with our return on investment for this position. So we're going to pull up our trusty calculator and let's run some calculations. So let's just say that the stock finishes right at 180 at expiration. Okay, well, our call, we're going to take in $6 for the call. So $6 divided by 180, that gets us to 3.3%. So in other words, we would make 3.3% on this position. Okay, now we would also, you could also think of it as our break new break even would be 174. In other words, we'd be buying stock at a 3.3% discount to where we currently bought it for. Okay, but in, in theory, we'd make about 3.3% on this position. But remember, to come up with a, uh, an annualized return, that's not a 3.3% annualized return. We have to convert this to an annualized number. So how do we do that? Well, we take number of days in a year, 365, and we divide it by our uh, days to expiration. Remember, we sold the 45 day call okay so we're going to divide 365 by 45 that gets us to 811 so in other words there's roughly about eight instances of 45 days within a year 
Okay, so to come up with an annualized return, we take our 8.11 times 0.033. That gives us an annualized return of roughly 27%. So that's if that's assuming that we could replicate the strategy every 45 days. Okay, so that's how you come up with take that that calculation for your return on investment and calculate an annualized return. So how do we calculate an annualized return for the max PL? Well, remember our max PL is is 26 points. Okay, the six dollars we took in for the call, the twenty dollars on the stock, that's our maximum. PL to the upside, so 26 divided by 180. Okay, so that's a return of 14.4%, okay, roughly 14.5%. But remember, we did it to annualize that number. You're going to have to multiply that by 8.11 to annualize the return. That gives us an annualized return of 117%. And, you know, that's assuming that we could put this position on and uh, do it over and over again for the next 45 days, eight times in a row. Okay. So that's how you use the, the P&L to come up with your return on investment um, for the time period as well as an annualized number. And I hope this was helpful. And uh, for any other questions regarding this calculator, you can always reach out to our investor services team at options at the OCC.com with any and all of your options related questions. Or if you have tool related questions, you can always shoot us an email or use our live chat function as well. So thank you for listening and have a great day.